Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Cho. I work in a histology lab and I am a postgraduate student in the Cancer Biology and Precision Oncology course. For working in a histo- histopathology lab, I get to see pathologists train tumor organs and these tumor organs are then processed. They are microsection and they are stained. So pathologists would then read the microscopic slides to provide a pathological diagnosis of the cancer cells. And that is something that I'm really interested in finding out the underlying uh, molecular mechanisms that actually cause these cancer cells to grow abnormally. So that's what made me want to apply for a master course in cancer biology. It's one of the top schools in the world and I know that um, they have many research in cancer biology as well. So I thought that this course is actually the right uh, course for me to attend and to learn and gain information in cancer biology. So because of um, the, the way the course is organized, and the lecturers are able to bring in various experts um, that specializes in different areas of uh, cancer research. So I'm able to actually understand more all the various kinds of cancer. And that's something that it's hard to come by. This information is actually go, you're not able to get it from online. So throughout the course, they have been encouraging students to reach out to them if, if, if you have any issues with the assignments or the lecture materials. Uh, since day one, they have always been so helpful. Yeah. So every week, there will be a, a topic that is given to us and all of us have to actually contribute something to that discussion board. And so we are able to read um, answers from the various students and that's why we get to learn what their interpretations are. The lecturers try to group us students uh, who are in the same time zone. So currently I'm working with my classmate who is in the same time zone as me as well. So I think that's easier to interact. I think my recent course is actually on reproductive tract cancer. So it's something that I've never seen before in terms of uh, the structures as well and the t- different types of cancer. And it's very complicating. I didn't know it's that complicating and it's just very interesting for me. For me, because I have to attend meetings at night, I can only dedicate like at least two hours uh, during the weekdays and for weekends it's like six hours or more because I'm a working adult so I can only do it after my full-time job. So learning through online gives me the kind of flexibility to to prepare and manage my time better for my assignments as well as balancing my work, my job as well. I think just start. Just start with whatever you want to learn. Go with the course materials first. And then as you progress, you find out certain information which you are not clear. Then you start to find out further and explore and get all this information. I think um, that is very, very important thing that you need to be able to, to move forward as a student. For me, I think I would prefer to learn the skill of reading journal articles quickly and picking up the main points of the journal articles. I think this is a very important skill if you want to be a researcher because there's tons of research papers that you have to read daily so you need to be able to understand and interpret them correctly and quickly as well.